Hello again. So, today what I thought I'd do is I've got a collection of backpacks that I have picked up um, since I've been sort of taking walking a bit more seriously. So I thought what I'd do is I'll go through them with you today, um, talk a little bit about them, why I've actually got them, um, whether I still use or what I still use them for. My first pack I'm going to show you is this little number. It's an Adidas Power 5. Um, just run of the mill sports bag with straps. There's no sternum strap. Um, I looked it up and it cost you around about £30. So, the reason I got this is it, this is actually my back that I've had for years and years and years. Um, and when I first started doing the walking a bit more seriously, uh, this was all I had. And to be honest, it's, it's really good. It stood the test of time. It's got enough. You can easily put a one litre water bottle, two big pockets. It's not huge, doesn't take much, but it, as long as you don't overload it, it's fine for a little fat pack. Um, I still actually use this. If I'm walking around town for any distance, I'll just take this. I'm not going to get all geared up with the full load out and everything just to walk around town. This was also the backpack that my son used for quite a long time up until I got him his new backpack. So what would I rate it? I mean I don't like to give it an out of 10 it's because of what it is it's good for what it is yeah so for what it is for a little roundabout town bag or maybe you're going to play sports it's good and yes I still use it walking around town. Next up number two is this little number it's an Osprey Talon 22, so it's a 22 litre pack. Um, Osprey, really good manufacturer, and um, they're brilliant. Uh, they generally all have the same sort of thing. I mean, this one's actually got a bike helmet clip, which I didn't need, so I've just put some shock cord on there if you ever need it. Um, it's, it's fantastic. It's got sort of an outer pocket there with a little compartment that you can clip things onto. Um, and then there's a sort of inner one here. Nice big load of space. Apparently they give you a guarantee for life as well. You can put a water bladder in there. Really good hook. It's got adjustable straps. Um, I think, yeah, you can also adjust the height on it. It's got a sternum strap with a whistle. Um, it's got just the, the belt uh, with pockets. It's brilliant, absolutely everything you need. I mean, obviously not for necessarily overnight, unless you're ultra, ultra light, lighter than I could ever go. But it is really good. So what did I get it for? Well, this was, once I started doing a bit of walking, this was what my first day pack. Um, and it was great, but I realized after a while, you know, for just going out for a few hours during the day, it was too big. I, did, I didn't need all that space. Um, so really it's, it's sort of got relegated now. Although I do, I do still recommend it, but I just don't have an immediate use for it. What I'd probably do is, let's say it was really, really cold, I was going out in winter and I needed to take extra stuff or something like that, I would probably then switch back to this one rather than my normal day walking pack. Um, but yeah, it is really good. The price I paid was about £85. I looked it up just now on Amazon and it was coming up at over 200 or 200 pounds. I'm like, I don't know if it's because they can't order it. Either way, I'm sure you'll be able to get it cheaper than that. But yeah, great pack. So next up, number three is Osprey again. This one's the Osprey Talon 11, so it's 11 litres. Now, you may have seen this, if you've seen any of my videos, this is my go-to day pack. It's fantastic, absolutely amazing. It's like the little brother of the previous one. Um, got all the same sort of things, uh, all the packs. It's, this is actually loaded up at the moment. Um, everything's adjustable. Support, it's got like the single air escapes that supports. You can put a water bladder in, which I normally do if it's just a day, a day walk. Um, it's fantastic, it really is. You can easily fit tons of water in the sides. Uh, I tend to put the raincoat in here, but there's loads of room here. It is absolutely fantastic. Um, 63 pound, I think I paid for it. And when I looked it up, um, it was 80 pound. So next up, we have a special guest. 
My special guest today is my son, Trav. Hello. Hello, Trav. So, the reason you're here is I was just talking about the Osprey Talon 11 litres. And what we ended up doing was getting you exactly the same backpack, which you are holding now, the red version. So I just wanted to ask you, first of all, do you find it comfortable? Yes. Yes? And do you find all the zippers and everything are great? Yes. Yes? So, all in all, what's your verdict? Very good bag. Very good bag. Thank you, sir. Next up, number four, we're getting out the big guns. So this... Big beast is the Osprey Ether 70 AG. Um, so this is a big Osprey, as you can see, um, 70 liters. Very much same setup as the other Ospreys. It's got the protection in the back, um, sternum strap, the belt strap, whistle, a little extra. Um, really big pockets. Loads of room, it's got a compartment underneath as well. So it's like a gigantic Osprey, they are brilliant. As I said, this one, £171 it cost me. I haven't checked the latest price, but I will leave a link in the description. So question is, why? Well, we've, we took up, alongside the walking, we started taking up, well, we've taken up camping, started doing a lot of camping last year. So this was what I thought, well, It'll cover me for the camping and get everything in there. Um, it's great if you're doing what I would say short walks because I did find it was so heavy. Um, I think at one point it was like 13 kilos, um, which for me, I'm not a thin lad either. It was really putting some pressure and weight on my feet. So I still use this if I'm either going car camping or camping, but only a short you know, four, five, six, seven miles, something like that. And I can put everything in. Or if I went winter camping, which I haven't done at the moment because there's some more gear I need that I just can't afford right now, but I would be using it for winter camping. So basically it's fantastic. Um, it'll take a, a lot of stuff, take, it'll take a hell of a lot of weight if you can actually manage it without crippling yourself, but it weighs a ton. Um, I can't remember really. <laughs> I think it's something that's well over two kilos just for the backpack. I mean, I, you know, <laughs> but it is fantastic. Don't get me wrong. Um, would I, I would not recommend it necessarily for through hiking or for long, you know, numbers of days, but for five, six, you know, short walk, overnight stay, you'll get everything you need in there. So number five next up, uh, this is I'll tell you, I think it's an amazing backpack for the price. Let me show it to you. So, it's the 3F UL Gear 40 plus 16. Yep. Um, I got this from AliExpress. It came, comes from China. It's Chinese made. Um, I don't think it's sold in UK stores that I'm aware of. I, I mean, the place it seems to be from is AliExpress. And I was dubious. I mean, I'd never used AliExpress before, though I'd never heard anything bad about them. But I was dubious. I, I watched a hell of a lot of YouTube videos and things about what is a budget, really lightweight, um, frameless pack that won't break your back. And this kept coming up all the time. Um, so yeah, I took the plunge. I thought I'll take AliExpress. I'd never heard, you know, I know it takes a while and it did. It took about three or four weeks to come through, but I'd never heard anything bad. And I have to say it's amazing. Um, it's one of these roll down ones. So it 40 plus 16, you can fit tons in. I mean, it's 40 litres, um, you know, and it can roll up. It's got pockets, extra wide. There's stuff you can, or that comes with it, you put on to fit your poles on. Um, the, it, yeah, the back doesn't have like a support, but I'm using, um, it keeps popping out because it's not full up, but I use one of these like thin sleep mats. Um, it's not Gossamer gear, but it's something very similar. So you put that in, I've taken it out. In fact, one of my other videos, I'm sure I'm wearing it. Taking it out on loads of tests and things. Great, it, honestly, it's really good. It's helped me cut my base weight down. I think I mentioned I was up to 13 kilos and I tried everything. Managed to get down to five and a bit base weight, 
including this. This thing is under a kilo. Um, and I bought the water bottle, that doesn't come with it, but that's fantastic. So, oh yeah, the other thing I did was I also, so I don't have to carry rain cover, I seam sealed it, turned it inside out, and I also sprayed it, I think it was Scotch Guard, I gave it a load of waterproof spray. Now, I haven't completely tested out its rainproofness yet, um, but I will be doing that. But yeah, what can I say, 48 quid. Some of the backpacks I looked at, um, you know, they're, they're talking like 100, 200, 300, some of them even 400. And this is 48 pound. And as far as I can see so far, I mean, as I say, I haven't had it that long. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, so a couple more. Um, I took classes as miscellaneous backpacks. Um, they're sort of extras, but I'll, I'll show you them and explain why I've got them. So I keep adjusting my glasses. <laughs> they're not I need to get some new ones um, and they keep coming loose and it's a nightmare when you have to wear a mask. Anyway, right, getting on with it. So this is the first miscellaneous one. Now, this is called an ANEFI, A-Y-N-E-F-Y, -E I presume it's ANEFI, blue rucksack, yeah? Um, now, why have I got this? £6.99 on Amazon. It's not, on, it's not available at the moment, but I saw it and I thought, oh, it's got to be a pile of pants. And then I thought, well, it's always good to have a spare, like if one of the other kids comes along or something, if it was any good. And I thought, what have I lost if I spend seven quid on it? And I'll tell you what, it's all right. I mean, you, you know, I wouldn't say it's shoddy. There's no bits hanging off. It's reasonably strong. I've tried it out. You can adjust it. Yeah, I mean, you can't put um, a hydration bladder, but it's got bits on there you can put across it's got uh sternum strap okay it's not got a whistle what do you expect bottle holder you can fit a litre bottle in there it's got an inner pocket um outer one little pocket here i just put bits and bobs to be quite honest for seven pounds i mean you can't go wrong if it's like you're getting it for a kid or something you know and i am worn it out a lot so maybe it will fall apart eventually but for now seven quid if you were going to just get stuck personally i'd say if you were going to just go and think well i haven't done any walking for a long time or i want to start walking i just get something cheap and if i find i don't want to be doing it forget it get this can't lose so last up for your delectation like this which is a mountain warehouse Ventura 40 litres. Um, how much was it? £43. Not too expensive, 40 litre pack. Um, why have I got it? Why would I need it? I've got a 40 plus 16. I've also got the 70. Well, the answer is my special guest earlier, my son. Um, he'll quite often come out camping with me. So if we're walking, and camping rather than having a car I thought well he's going to need a backpack um, I'm not expecting to carry anything like the stuff I'm carrying or the weight but he, he can at least carry his sleeping mat and a sleeping bag and maybe a couple of poles or something so I thought this would be ideal um, by, I don't I'm not made of money so I couldn't afford tons and I just thought oh, let's go for it it's great we tried it out um, he likes it it's not fantastic I did actually think about using this for my uh, through hiking, well, walking, sleeping, camping, walking, camping, um, instead of this, before I got the 3FUL, but I could not fit everything I had in there. No matter what I did, they're just, you know, if you're going to add in food and stuff, it, it just wouldn't work. So that's why I ended up getting the 3FUL. But this is Trav's, um, and you'll probably see more of that when the weather gets nicer. So that's the review of my backpacks. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I'll be back out in the countryside very soon. Um, I just thought it might be a bit fun to do the odd different video, um, gear, that kind of thing. But on the whole, most of my channel is out and about. So, catch you next time. Bye.